uh, I'll talk on the treatment because there is some people who are addicted like me. Let me tell you one thing. What I feel about animals, I think it's abnormal. That's what I think. And uh, let me tell you one thing. When you get money from farming, you would like to get more money. For your information, when I come and I'm really stressed up with a lot of things of this world, and I look at my animals, there is some guys I look at and I feel I'm uncomfortable. And I really need them to be so close to me. There is some guys, um, I think, just pray for me that I pick him and he accepts. You know, when you're dealing with animals, you need to have love for these guys. I, I want you to see this guy. Um, he's really a, a very good boy. Uh, the father of this guy, I really bought him a lot of money from South Africa to here. But um, I don't regret. I don't regret why I bought it. You know, this guy is, is two months old. I think you can see. It's two months. You know, when you really messed, stressed and so on, and you go to your farm, there is a way how I feel. I don't know how you feel, but I really feel very well. And you know, farm can make you hate it if really your animals are not healthy. But the moment you find your animals really being healthy, you're doing a great job. You can never fail to love animals. So like some people who really have, let's say, those diseases like hypertension and so on, these are the kind of uh, projects that they have to do. Because you be there and you see another guy, another new guy really produced. Uh, look at this. When I was living here last week, I found this guy just being produced. He was produced that very week. But look at the weight of this guy. If, even if I have no money now, I'm sure in a few time I will be getting my money. So my dear people, uh, have animals as a therapy. Have animals as treatment. It can really treat you. It can make you feel better. Let me chase these guys. You see how the dollars works. How the money works for your information. And for real, this is these are generations of family. But there is something I really wanted to explain to you today. If my father, if my father had animals, I would be a farmer definitely. And you know what? I would be a rich farmer. But because my father was a semi-farmer, let me say like that, just trying to do something for himself, see us going to school and, you know, living better. Um, me as me in my struggle and not being contented with what I have, I decided to be a farmer because I went into that line of profession. But what I don't want in my life, I don't want my kids to go back into the line of, you know, um, being workers. Because yesterday I was watching a certain motto of a certain school that I can't mention. And the motto was uh, education for service. I don't know how you guys interpret that. But as me, in my small understanding, it shows to me that we are studying because we have to give service. But we are not studying because we need to be some people. We, we, we need to be bosses, we need to be something. But because we are trained to give service to the community or to the people, we think about of charging the services such that we can survive. But if we think of doing our own projects, then we would be richer. So me, what I don't want, I want my kids to be with me uh, during this journey of farming. Then after doing uh, my farming, I, I, I run with them because they are now in, you know, nursery and others are getting into primary. Uh, I want by the time they make, uh, they reach P7, at least they know everything about goats and how they can treat, or so maybe give some first aid. Uh, by the time they reach senior four, I want my kids knowing how to completely take care of an animal. 
and uh, how they can handle. Actually, even if I have no vet, when my boy is in senior four, I think he will be able to do a lot of my farm work. Th that is what I think. And I think by the time he goes to senior six and the university, he will know what to do. He will be doing uh, maybe vet medicine for a reason because I want him to be in, uh, uh, I want him to reach at the university when he's on the farm mathre pay. And um, if all goes on well and the project is really doing well, that kid will be paid two millions. By the time he graduates, he'll be um, scaling up to four millions and uh, he'll be taking over maybe management of a certain unit, maybe what. Why? Because I know he has been following this. By that time, he would know how much money can get out of farming. By that time, he will know how to communicate to people in God farming. So that even if I go out of this country and God calls me, I know the generation is going to go on. What am I to explain to you is that you people, we need to do what they call generation farming. We do not to let our kids um, inherit the richness of the houses, but they should inherit our brains of creating more money in things that they do understand. Like, you know, farming is a generation wealth. Those people that have benefited in farming, they are very rich, and the new generation is going to be rich, and more other generations will be rich. For your information, this is a project that can make people be employed. Actually, it is the project that can make the whole country, the whole Africa employed, and getting a lot of money, and living our lives but some of us are just even surviving so what am i to mean uh, is that uh, i want you people to think about of this getting into farming try to understand it on whichever level that you're on but don't die with your skill or knowledge let it be given to your kids your kids will also have other kids having the same it does not stop you from doing any profession work but it helps you keep that generational wealth let's study have our qualifications but farming being our basic and background even if someone is studied but he doesn't have um uh, he doesn't have a job a job is not a problem but the money should be the problem if you have the farm your kids will go to school, but knowing the background of you is farming, and that's where you get a lot of money, and that's where you pay their school fees, and also paying their money, that will give us generations. So let's create farms which are running into many generations, and uh, it will make some of our families not to yearn for the jobs and look for jobs. I think this is just an inspiration or an ideological talk. I think some of you think about it and it can really give you very good results. Bye for now.